All right, welcome. This is M Dog. Today we're just going to take a quick look at uh, at fishing with wobblers. What we may go more in depth at some point on this. I really just want to um, make this in case someone sort of runs into what I ran into, which is to be spin fishing sort of in a groove, getting used to fishing with spoons and spinner baits. Maybe you do a little bit of jigging, but you keep going back to spoons, especially. And then all of a sudden you unlock wobblers and it can be a bit, at least for me, um, just kind of difficult to, to figure out what that transition looks like, what wobblers are all about. There's a little bit of a different action to them. So the first thing to, to realize, and, and again, we'll go in more depth maybe another time, but just want to quickly say some, some wobblers are going to float, some are going to sink. Okay. And, and if you're here at Curie Lake, you're going to hear a lot of talk about these uh, funky, funky minnows. Um, this is the S11, one, two, four, there's others, the three is good, seven, eight, I mean there's several that you'll just hear a lot of talk about. So um, we're going we're gonna to spend this time just quickly talking up through fishing with one of these uh, funky minnows. We'll just use the one here, uh, let me remember how to get it on the line, <laughs> there we go. Um, so we'll show you how to do it. Uh, what's up Ryan, welcome to the channel. I'm actually just clipping out a quick uh, quick segment here on on um, wobbling uh, fishing with a wobbler and then we'll uh, continue on with the stream so um, we're gonna go ahead and put our retrieval speed at uh, eight for this I'm gonna show you a couple different methods probably the two most common methods ways people fish with with a wobbler um, so let's go ahead and cast it out there uh, the first thing we're going to do is, is, is what basically is called twitching. And so we're going to start reeling in and you're not going to, you're, you're not going to stop necessarily. As you see the twitching comes up on the bottom left hand side of the screen. Um, you can just keep on going. I think I showed you the retrieval speeds at eight. People do this from, I'd say as slow as like a, a five retrieval speed all the way up to 20 or even higher than that. Um, I usually do around eight to 10. You don't necessarily need to stop. I will sometimes stop, like mid uh, mid course back uh, with the lure. And um, I found that sometimes during that stop period is when fish will hit it. But um, so we haven't gotten twitching to come back. There comes the fish. It's so fun at Curie to see those fish. They will just come out of nowhere. So that is the twitching method. Um, to, to be clear, what I'm doing there is 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 I'm right clicking. As I'm as I'm reeling it in, so um, I'm not going to do a whole nother reel, but I'm just sort of steadily bringing it in and just hitting right click. You can see the action in underwater there of the lure. Um, you're forcing, and let's take a let's take a quick look at the lure again. You're basically forcing this lure. Oh, that's not a very good view of it. Let's go back into the other ones. So this is this one is just like it, but you're forcing the lure because of that bill, bill or that plastic piece that's coming off the front of the, the 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 minnow there, the wobbler. You're forcing it to do its action, which uh, these funky minnows are going to a depth of 1.2 meters. So every time when you're reeling it, it's forcing it to go down into the water, and it's making that kind of motion. Or when you're doing the right click and making that twitching action, you're forcing the movement and that's what's drawing the attention of the fish. So one other quick uh, thing that we can do with this, I'd say the other common thing you'll see with wobblers, we're gonna put our retrieval speed at about 14 this time. And now we're gonna do the stop and go. So we've got it a little faster, at least what I will do is a little faster retrieval speed. And, and now we're not gonna do any twitching. So you just keep your hand off the right, right click. We're not twitching at all this time. We'll let it sink down to the bottom a little bit. We're gonna reel, I end up doing three rotations. And this is not that dissimilar to jig stepping, except instead of doing one rotation at a little faster reel speed, we're gonna do three rotations. You saw, we just saw the stop and go come up on the bottom left-hand side of the screen. That's basically the game telling you, hey, we recognize that you are, you are, uh, you are doing a pattern that is good for this lure and there's, yeah, there's the fish. It's a small one. I thought it popped on and popped back off, but uh, let's go ahead and pull this this little guy out and uh, throw it back out there so you can see a little bit more of it. So this is a stop and go. I think that this method is um, just as effective as, as twitching. And I think some people actually prefer it. it. It's worth mentioning that 
I said there's two like main things people do with wobblers. There's probably a third that's almost just as common. I think some people just put these on, you know, anywhere between like 12 and 18 speed, and they just they just reel them in. They don't stop. They don't twitch. These wobblers have a lot of um, good movement on their own, so you don't necessarily have to do the stop and go. You don't have to do the twitching. You can just reel these puppies in, and they're going to catch a lot of fish. So the, the bottom line is these wobbler lures, especially these funky minnows, are really good lures. Um, I've only had experience with them in Curie Lake. Uh, I think that's true um, because it's not been that long ago that I unlocked them. I also have some handmade ones, uh, these cranks. Uh, the balsa uh, minnows, balsa jointed, um, actually have caught quite a few fish on the balsa jointed. You basically just want to see how far down is their movement. So like these, these balsa minnows, the depth on them are five meters. So you want to be in a pretty deep area to, to fish with those, I would suspect. But um, these 1.2 meters or even the 2.5 meters, those are pretty good for this spot. So anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the youtube video but of course i'm going to keep streaming here at mdog gaming on twitch please come join us if you're interested thanks so much so ryan you said you just unlocked these last night yeah it had